So this is Neat for Godot, the project I've been working on during quarantine. Neat was originally conceived by Kenneth Stanley in 2002 and it abbreviates to Neuro Evolution of Augmenting Topologies, which is really just a fancy way to say that we're trying to emulate evolution by natural selection on a computer. So these cars are controlled by neural networks. I can show you the brain of one of these guys right now. Um, I won't go too far into the details of how those actually work. Um, I have a wiki page on the GitHub repository that explains this a bit better. But basically these here are the input neurons and they receive numbers. And these numbers in this case here are the distances to the walls of the track in eight directions. And they feed those numbers via links to the output neurons. And um, if the output neurons are above a certain threshold, an action is performed. So this output neuron here controls acceleration. So if the inputs it receives are bigger than zero, the car will accelerate. This one here controls braking. Likewise, those two control steering left and steering right. And so through random mutations, those connections will be altered over time and we will copy the most successful neural networks into the next generation and this should improve performance over time of the whole population and um, i'll just skip ahead a few generations to see what happens <laughs> Well, as you can see, there are quite a few cars now that can drive the track successfully and stay stay on the track. Um, I'll just take a look inside the brain of one of those cars, and you can see it has changed significantly since I think it was generation three that I opened this brain. So um, I can now save this neural network, give it some name, and um, I could use this in a game and just load a script with just this neural network without running the whole training process. My intention for this project has always been to um, make this easy to apply it to other projects. So I have made some other demos that I will show you right away. The next demo I just quickly want to show to you is the Lunar Lander demo running in fast forward, of course. The landers are dropped above the lunar surface and must use their thrusters to slowly descend to the ground. If they go too fast, land on a slope that's too steep or collide with a part other than their landing legs, they crash. The landers only have limited fuel. Once they run out, they'll crash into the ground. Therefore, they have to conserve fuel and try to land as fast as possible. This point is reinforced by giving the landers higher rewards for using less fuel. After a while, they receive random impulses when they are dropped, so they should learn to compensate this to prevent drifting away. To make things more interesting, the drop-off location also changes after 45 generations, and then again later. Well, this was just supposed to be a short introductory video. Um, I didn't show the car racing mode where you can uh, race against cars you have previously trained. Um, and I also didn't show the third demo, which shows how you can evolve an XOR gate using Neat. Um, it's honestly not that interesting to watch. It serves mostly just for benchmarking purposes. But with that said, um, yeah, there is the GitHub repository and I've tried my best to document this as much as I can. Um, I commented the code, perhaps a bit excessively, but if any of you guys have questions or otherwise any sorts of improvements or whatever, please let me know. Uh, I do plan on working, continuing to work on this in, in the future. But this is all I have to say for now, so um, thank you for watching.